do you want from me? I will help you in any way that I can. I need you to promise that you'll help find my husband. And if you do not agree, you'll be here in this prison for a very long time. With the murderer's name on your back. There we are. Let me see. It's perfect. Excuse me, but can you explain how it is that you have your sister's necklace? When Linda left Colombia, she left some things behind. This was one of them. I have always treasured it. And now I will. I can't believe I'm going to my first day of school wearing something of hers. Something I never even knew existed. You are the living image of her. You think so? There is no doubt. Your eyes, your face, and your heart. You have your mother's good heart. Are you lying to me of this? Not one bit. You got your phone, you got your wallet, you got your books. Yeah. You're all set. Yeah. You okay. two both have a great day. I can't believe you're gonna be a freshman in high school. Oh, my God. I know what you're going to say next. It seems like just yesterday when he was starting kindergarten. I'm not going to say that, because that would be a really lame thing to say, and I don't say lame things because I mm -hmm. am a cool mom, mm -hmm. right? Give me a hug. <laughs> cool mom. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> Later, dude. Oh, my mom. Oh, let's go. What? Let's go, guys. What's wrong what with dude? <laughs> You dare condescend to me about this. Oh, well, what? You're saying it's not possible. This is not about my ego. Break off, damn okay. It. okay. All right, I'll check it out. I'm just... I'm not sure this amounts to police business at this time. Why not? Well, she's been gone, what, a couple of days? She, she left a note in her handwriting. There's no sign of foul play. Read it again. I agree. It's not exactly Natalie's style. Thank you. See? So what you did to Natalie's family, is that behind this? Maybe. But what if you're dead wrong? What if what you just said right there is a load of crap? What if she needs help? How are you going to live with that? What is it that I'm supposed to be figuring out here, Tess? I mean, yeah, I figured out that you tried to kill me and Jared, and I figured out that you had me locked in Mom's basement, and I figured out that you tried to gaslight Jared into believing that I ran off. You're a quick study, Natalie. Does this make you happy? Plotting revenge on me and Jared? I mean, my God, when was the last time you sat with Bree in your lap or, or read her a book? Are you even taking care of yourself and that baby? Or is plotting revenge against me and Jared way more important to you than Nash's kids? Bree and I are just fine. I'm very mellow. Things are going according to plan. Jared got your letter, he read it, and in time, he will learn to accept the things that you wrote. Jared doesn't believe I wrote the letter, Tess. You heard him. And he's not going to give up on me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he will. Okay. Okay. Let's say, for argument's sake, that he does decide to believe it was me. Believes that I left him. Then what does? I'm having a hard time. Why? Because my, my kid's going off for his first year of high school? Ah, that's exciting. Right? I mean, he can't be a baby forever. He's got to grow up sometime. And, you know, that's, that's good. It just makes me very, makes me very sad. Because <laughs> as much as I love that high school boy, I miss my little boy. <laughs> oh. 
will never take it off. Uh, you know, I hate to break up the moment here, but Langston, you and Starry are going to school are gonna be late. Yeah, come on, Langston, we gotta go. Listen, you call me if you need me, okay? I'll be fine, okay? All right. All right. <clears throat> yes, you will, and you look beautiful in that school. Come on, Thank girls. You. Come on. Okay, uh, when will I see you again? Uh, perhaps you and I could have dinner one night this week? I would love that. And thank you for coming by and for the necklace. It was really sweet of you. It was my pleasure. Time to go, Langston. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> Be nice to him, please. Yes. Blair, hmm? I wonder if you wouldn't give me a few moments alone with Mr. Montez. Sure. Yell if you need me. All right, we're alone now. So why don't you just cut the crap and tell me what it is you want from me and what exactly you want from my daughter. No matter who your husband is or what he's done, if you help me get out of here, I'll help you track him down. I'm not one to trust people, but you look like a man of honor. A man of his word. I swear I won't let you down. <laughs> I hope that is true. Wait, wait. You, you need my brother's number. It's not necessary. I can find him. The name is um, Vega. Is that right? Yeah, that's that's right. Vega, and please hurry. This please. <laughs> Are you afraid that you'll be beaten? Killed? I think that's a possibility. Guard! If my husband can survive in this place as long as he did, I'm sure that you can too. Guard! I don't know if there's officially anything I can do with this. If you get something else, come to me and we'll go from there. Sorry for interrupting. Lieutenant. What is it? A hit on Hess. He left Mindora in a, on a phony passport by the name of uh, Mortal Number. Thanks. Mortimer Byrne? Yeah. I saw him. Where? Chris Vega's life could be at stake. I think Natalie would want you to help him. I was in Plato Prison, Columbia, South America. Right. And what were you doing there? It was a potential business venture. Oh, yeah? And what business are you Look, in? Look, I now? saw this guy, okay? So he asked me what my name was. I gave him a phony one. Was he an inmate? No. In fact, he was sucking up to the warden pretty good. OK. Thanks. Look, I will do what I can with the Natalie thing. Let's just hope it's nothing. If you hear from her, please call me. Yeah. Right. Hey, boss. Hey. Did uh, Natalie say anything to you about going out of town or anything for a while? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Look, uh, on another note, I think we've got a lead on Chris, and it all leads back to Hesser. It's Jared. Banks. I need to see you. It's about Natalie. Then what, Tess? if Jared does accept that I left him. What happens if he stops looking for me? Then you get to watch Jared fall out of love with you and in love with me.